mainly the voter in Nairobi, who has to make that decision. The issue of academic, we saw it came out very well. When he said, you know, where he went to school, that he's been able to put all his uh, reports uh, online, he's been able to put his certification. Uh, we've been uh, taunting him as somebody who never did bridging courses. He actually said he did. He went he even also, to an extent. He also, Musuma, he also said that um, the Elections Act should scrap um, the academic credentials. I think he alluded to the fact that um, education should not really um, be used as a gauge for who should take on what leadership position. Lillian, again, but neither should ignorance. You see, I'm, I'm, I'm again, I'm of the view that yes, as much as we agree that education is not the yardstick for success, it should also not be played down. You do not want to be represented by somebody who cannot pronounce economics. I mean, you need, you need somebody who has seen the world. You need somebody who, uh, who understands where or who actually has an idea or a vision of this great city. And again, this will matter most on the education caliber that this person has. And I am against him when he says that education should be scrapped. No, I do not want to be led by somebody who doesn't understand the economic of our times. I mean, for crying out loud, somebody said, and I, you know, I think it's James Madison who said, uh, 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 knowledge will forever trounce ignorance. I think that is something that must come so clear in the leaders who want to run for, for, for place in this great city of ours. But again, uh, Lillian, I am also very concerned that I never had anything well packaged as to how he would want to run Nairobi. That is still, 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 still a very huge uh, gap between him and Dr. Ivan Skidero or the, 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 uh, the, the plans that we've had somebody like Miguna has or the plans that we've seen somebody like Peter Kenneth has. Sonko is yet to come and convince the elite. Again, he has realized it's the elite at this point that he has to convince and he has not done that, that okay. job pretty well. And I think his handlers need to take him back to go and come up now with something, not the rhetoric about traffic and garbage. I mean, that has been overtaken by time. We need somebody who will tell us, like, you know, how this city may go and become a London, how this city may go and become a Paris, how this city may go and become an LA. It's doable. I mean, if you look at the great cities of this world, I, I, I would have encouraged Sonko to go and read something like the Boston Big, it's called the Big Dig Project, where Boston actually changed within, within a short period of time. You know, somebody came and saw in 20 years, traffic will almost come to a standstill. What do we need to do right now so that 20 years, we are found ready. And I think that's the kind of leader we need to get for this great city. Mm -hmm. We're not somebody who will just serve 10 years. We Mugaka. need somebody who will see 30 years, even though he will not be there. Stephen, looking at the voting patterns here in Nairobi County um, and Sonko's numbers, um, and he did um, allude to the fact that he's got a massive following, um, particularly uh, from the Wanjiko, um, as Mutuma there has put it. Um, is this wave likely? Uh, to give Mike Sonko the Nairobi governor position, the fact that he resonates very well um, with the low-end um, um, Nairobi demographic. Uh, far from it, Lillian. Um, <coughs> uh, as I indicated earlier, um, uh, the voter turnout during the primaries is no indication of what the voting pattern would be uh, like on 8. Uh, because what, uh, 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 in my assessment, happened is uh, really a class revolt. Um, uh, it is uh, 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 the protest uh, uh, vote from uh, the, 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 the lower income cadre, the, the, the informal sector, uh, those people who, th you know, are, are, are survivors uh, in Nairobi. Uh, but the vote that really matters is uh, the school vote. And uh, for Sonko, it is uh, going to be a very serious hard sale uh, for him. And, uh, and uh, if you asked me, um, uh, his uh, performance as senator of Nairobi uh, is going to be a key uh, uh, indicator of whether or not he qualifies uh, 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 to be governor. Because as a senator uh, of a city like Nairobi, uh, we expected better. Uh, because uh, Nairobi is the most populous uh, uh, of, of, of the counties, and we all know that uh, the per capita revenue uh, allocation to Nairobi City does not compare with, uh, with other, other, other counties. Uh, and, and we would have wanted to see what um, uh, Senator Sonko has done to articulate the case for Nairobi City 
uh, in the Senate. What we know of is that uh, the last time he, they dragged Governor Kidero um, uh, uh, to the Senate, it, it was for a punch-up, uh, and not for you know an oversight, uh, an oversight role. And, and things become worse when uh, uh, Senator Sonko, um, as a senator, um, uh, has not assisted Nairobi City. Uh, to, to recover the bulk of its, uh, uh, its uh, uh, outstanding debts from uh, national government. Because we know for a fact the national government owes Nairobi City a humongous amount of money. And, uh, and, and this eats into the ability of any government uh, to, 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 to deliver for Nairobi City. So as senator, he really needs to convince uh, the elite to vote, the business vote, that he can now preside over this city when he has not been able to champion uh, what he should have done while he's, uh, he, he was senator. So he is really a hard sell uh, for, for the business class. Uh, for the primaries, yes, it is a bravado, it is a drama, it is a, a showbiz. Um, uh, uh, and characteristically, and even if you look at Sare, uh -huh. the kind of people uh, that uh, uh, the youth uh, were pushing uh, are because they reason it uh, uh, with them. Uh, they are hustlers like them. And uh, that is why Jawa um, uh, had to be put one centimeter away uh, uh, from, uh, from the parliamentary seat. Uh, and, and this may not play out um, in, uh, in, uh, in the August election. But uh, those of us who are schooled, uh, the behavior of these primaries puts a lot of pressure on those of us who are seeking leadership or who have been holding leadership and they have been schooled. Because if our performance does not uh, uh, impress, then you know the voter would be like, uh, education doesn't matter, L it, it, let this uh, position even go to the dogs. And if that attitude then um, uh, uh, creeps into the minds of uh, the elite vote oh. um, in the assessment if Governor Kidero did not live up to his credentials, then perhaps they let go and say, uh, well, let's write off these five years because he has not met uh, our expectations. But in my thinking, um, um, uh, uh, Jubilee has not presented a candidate that would uh, send home Governor Kidero based on issue, issue analysis and uh, based on the... Um, uh, so the essentially, Mogata, this could class, be political could suicide be. then for mm -hmm. Senator Mike Sonko. Should he not clinch the Nairobi uh, governor position... Uh, what next for him then? Well, there are enough drama groups uh, in town to join, <laughs> and uh, 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 I think uh, 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 I, I can say more uh, because uh, um, uh, a serious Nairobians need serious minds mm -hmm. to take this city to where it belongs. Because we want Nairobi to uh, to compete with New York, Tokyo, um, and we do not uh, want uh, Nairobi to be a Sarakasi city, and and, and that is why uh, the serious voter. Uh, we really need uh, to see uh, what is the alternative to, to Governor Kidero. As we close this conversation, Mutuma, your take home from yesterday's interview on JKL, um, that of Senator Mike Sonko um, looking like a totally different man. What did you take out of that um, conversation as we close? N n number one, Lillian, I'd probably pose the why factor. The why factor meaning the last time he was uh, uh, on, uh, with Hussein, he was one person who was, and I think, I also think he accepted yesterday, he was not himself. What was he then than what we saw yesterday? I think, number one, we must try and bring the two. We must marinate the two to try and see why we played yesterday to be shown somebody different. I mean, people have been tweeting, asking, where is the Sonko? And that's why I started by saying, may the real Sonko stand up. Adios. So, you, you know, uh, I, I agree. I agree with Mogaka to an extent. Uh, there are things that uh, did not come out very clearly. I mean, he has been given limelight twice. I mean, prime time, twice. He has not still sold, personally, maybe to me and many others, I would believe. He's not sold to us the true agenda that he has for Nairobi. I am saying Nairobi is a city that needs to go to the future. We are already late, so we need to leapfrog. If not leapfrog, we need to run and get to be with, in line with the other cities. Yes, we are spending so much, time in, uh, so much money in Nairobi, so much resources. We are still uh, you know, uh, talking about traffic. We are talking about garbage. We are talking about you know, dilapidated infrastructure systems that don't work, the sewer and, and the, the water system. These are things that are not working. And in a 
city that is endearing herself to enter or be recognized as a city of the future, we are so late. So again, like I said, yesterday did not hit the threshold of an individual who can take this country or this city to the future. However, who am I to say that Sonko is not enough? Uh -huh. He has numbers behind him. And probably these people, what they are seeing is that he can be or he can deliver Nairobi. Question is, will he be able to sell himself to the elite? And again, it's not just the elite, but this is a very crucial vote, and this is the vote that counts. This is what tilts somebody to the favor of becoming a governor. So to speak, I'll agree with Mogaka when he said that Kidero right now is seated pretty. Uh -huh. It's because he realizes he does not have what you'd call a serious competitor. If I was asked, and again, I'm of the view, and I'm not telling Jubilee what to do or on Nairobians how to vote. But if somebody like Sonko and Peter Kenneth were to form a ticket where they would say, you know what, down the middle we are splitting duties. Sonko, you deal with the political aspect of City Hall and let Peter Kenneth deal with policy. Trust you me, that mm. ticket would give Kidero. But he openly, he did openly um, invite Peter Kenneth to come on as running mate should he desire to work with him. And again, a very serious <laughs> article and different article that we saw last time when we were used to say, he said he cannot <laughs> even sit down with the guy. He called him so many names. So again, what morphed Lillian? What happened that we saw yesterday, somebody who saw inviting? Yes, I would work with him. I have, I'm okay if he comes to be my running mate. Question is... Would Peter Kenneth take this uh, invitation calmly or will he take it just as another gimmick? I think we have to wait and see. We have to wait and see. Mogaka, do you agree we have to wait and see? Would Peter Kenneth actually um, consider um, the possibility of working with Mike Sonko as his running mate? Um, I, I highly doubt um, that he will. And even if he did, uh, uh, the powers are given to deputy governors. Um, uh, it's such yeah. that uh, he would be making nonsense of himself um, uh, because he will not make a difference. Um, uh, um, I, I think, in my view, uh, for, for, for Jubilee, unless we get an independent candidate and an independent candidate that will move Nairobi, it's too late in the day. Um, uh, really, uh, 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 it's like the die is cast and uh, we have to look for how to live with Governor Kidero for another five years <laughs> and look for other ways to enhance oversight uh, 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 upon him uh, so that uh, this Nairobi uh, uh, crosses over uh, to when uh, Governor Kidero is uh, moved out of office by the Constitution in 2022. It's a wait and see for now. Last night um, on JKL, Nairobi Senator Mike Sonko um, was hosted by Jeff Koinange um, in what appeared um, as a shocker to many. His demeanor totally different uh, from what we know him as. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for your thoughts on that. We're coming back very shortly as we cross over to Lion's House where um, aspirants seeking to go it alone at the August 8th polls um, will be getting their um, certificates today, I believe, and will be crossing over there very shortly when we come back. Also in the news this morning, we'll be looking at the launch of a new HIV kit, um, and we'll be talking about matters surrounding that particular controversial issue. We're coming back with more right after the break.